We've reached 500. This is awesome. 500 subscribers. This makes my day. So I'm going to give you one little weird episode where I recap the end of the 2018 season, and then we can get back into the swing of things with regular weekly videos. So, so far in the hill climb season, I'm winning my class. I've got enough points to win as long as I complete one more event. That one more event has to be Mount Philo. Um, uh, coming off the win at Mount Escutney 2, everything had gone great. I drove awesome. I actually beat the other cars in my class for the first time in the season. And I decided I'd be a grown-up and just park the car. And not tinker with it, not make any changes before Philo. Just leave it alone. It was good. It drove great. So I did that. I left it. And I started it up to drive up to Mount Philo on race day. And everything went perfectly. No, no, that's not what happened. That's not what happened at all. So things went so badly, we didn't even get any good footage. Um, instead, what I ended up doing was looking for the source of the knock in the bottom of the engine, decided it was rod knock, which is pretty much a death sentence for the engine. Uh, I might be able to salvage it if I don't drive it, and then I rebuild it, but definitely didn't want to drive it up to Philo, which is about a four-hour drive, and then have it die, and then have to get it back home. So instead, my friend Jamie was already going to drive my $1 Focus that has been completely untested and not ready for anything, and I decided we would just double drive, and that means he takes a run in run group A, brings the car back down, I take a run run group B, bring the car back down, and basically it's, it's abusive to the car, and you don't get a ch chance to check fluids or anything, but Overall, it works. So we trailered the car up thinking, this thing's going to die. It's never been really driven before. It's never been pushed. Um, and we both raced the snot out of it. Aside from a couple of little brake issues, no problems at all. It went great. And I was the only person in my class, so I scored all the points that I had needed in order to win my class. And... Um, that landed me the class championship, and what I got from that, so the big reward at the end of the season, the big cash reward, is this little dash plaque, and a t-shirt, I got a t-shirt as well, but that's the Miata, um, I'm proud of it, I'm really proud of it, I drove really well at one event, and I made it out to all but one of the others, and sometimes just showing up is the hardest part of racing. So, all in all, really good season. After I got back home, I decided I'm going to find out what that rod knock is because I can't race a car with no engine. So, pulled the head off. Everything looks okay in there. Pulled the block off. Everything looks okay in there. Couldn't find a problem. But, when I did the coolant reroute, I did a dummy thing and... In the front of the pulley, there's this bolt. And that bolt basically holds your timing belt and the whole front pulley system together. And I didn't tighten that enough. So that loose pulley was enough to cause the rod knocking noise, the, the false rod knocking noise, the one that lied to me, and caused me to miss the last event, in the Miata at least. And that's why I've got a bunch of extra work ahead of me. So, coming up, I'm going to finish rebuilding the engine. I guess refreshing. I'm not even, I'm not taking the rotating assembly out. I'm not taking the pistons out, leaving the rods, leaving everything as is, and just putting it back together and getting it running. Um, yeah. Sneak peek of what's happening with the heap. I don't like f fixing rust. I'll just replace it. So, the other thing that's happening is under this pile of shop laundry, coveralls mostly, I have another engine. That's going to be the one that gets some kind of actual love. At the very least, it's going to get rods, stronger rods, and it'll get new rings. Like At least it'll be freshened up. And I may add a little bit more power to that. But that won't be until later. Um, I really want to get the other engine finished, get it running, get it tuned on Mega Squirt, and be ready for the race season before I even tear into that thing. 
So, again, stay tuned. Thanks for subscribing. I'm so happy we hit 500. This is awesome. It absolutely makes my day. And I'll have another episode up for you this week. Thanks for watching, and tell your friends to subscribe.